as old as you are. Alleluia. You will never change. Ancient of days forever the same. As old as you are. You will never change a chance of day, a chance of days forever the same as old as you are. You will never change. Hallelujah. Ancient of the as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never, you will never change. And you are good, your mercy is forever. Hallelujah, 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 you are good, you are good, your mercy is forever, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. you are good, Lord. you are good, your Mercy is forever. Ale, 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 alleluia. Jesus, you are good. Your mercy is forever. Ale, Your covenant keeping God, you are good. Your mercy is forever. Alleluia. You are good. You are good. And your mercy is forever. Alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Our God is good. His mercy is forever, from everlasting to everlasting is God. Let's just worship the Lord. Let's bless him. Let's tell him how great, how mighty, how good he is. He is merciful. He is merciful. He is merciful. We worship you, covenant keeping God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of David, the God of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Father of our Lord. We worship you. Blessed be your holy name. Please take all the glory. Please take all the honor. Father, we worship you tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Can we take our hymn for the uh, August uh, same song for August? I want us to take it prayerfully. If we can be on our feet in the heart of um in a in a heart of worship and heart of prayer you can just be and just speak the praise of the Lord as we sing this song. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> I have come to be touched by the Lord. I have come to be touched by the Lord. Something great 
something marvelous do in my life i have come to be taught by the lord we have come we have come to be touched by the lord we have come to be touched by the lord hallelujah something great something marvelous do in our life we have come to be touched by the lord i have come i have come to be touched by the lord i have come to be touched by the lord hallelujah something great something marvelous do in my life i have come to be touched by the lord something great something great something marvelous please do in my life i have come to be touched by the lord great god bless you man thank you very much something marvelous about do in my life i have come to be touched by the lord something great something great something marvelous do in our life we have come to be touched by the Lord. Can you sing it to yourself? I have come to be touched by the Lord. Please sing it if you mean it. I have come to be touched by the Lord. Something great, something marvelous, Baba do in my life. I have come to be touched by the Lord. We have come, we have come to be touched by the Lord. As we do it, we do it again. We have come to be touched by the Lord. Something great, something beautiful, Baba do in our life. We have come to be touched by the Lord. Something great, something great, something marvelous. Do in our life, we have come to be touched by the Lord. Always ready to touch, always ready to bless, for as many that thirsty, for as many that wanting, as many that are receiving that are able to receive is always ever ready to bless a patch, a thirsty, and a water dry ground. Only if you ask, only if you desire, only if you thirst. He has said, if you ask anything in my name, the Father will do it. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall receive. The problem is you've never asked. He said that you have never asked anything of the Father. Ask of him, ask, and he shall be given unto you. And that's the case, can you say to yourself and say, Father, or say to the Lord and say, Father, I have come this hour again to be touch of you. I know you are never tired of blessing me. You are never tired of giving. You are never tired of, of giving. And me too, I'm never tired of receiving. I'm here to be blessed again in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you have been doing it right from the first night. And here we are in the fourth night again, believing and trusting that you will do it again. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, may I experience you again this night. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Something great, something marvelous, something beautiful do in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. After Bethel, Jacob was never the same again. The cheater couldn't cheat again. The one that was the one that was causing sure at home couldn't be the problem again. He was a very changed man. Everything about him changed. He had a permanent, a life-changing encounter with the Lord. And his life never remained the same again. Lord, I have come that my life may change. I have come that I may be blessed. I have come that others around me might receive blessing as well. I have come that I may be the source of blessing for my household, for my family, for my children, that I may be remembered someday and the fruit of my womb will bless me because I have been blessed of them. Lord, I have come tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Do it again. Something great, something marvelous. Do in my life, I have come to be touched by the Lord. Lord, I have come to be touched by you in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch me in a way only you can. Touch me in a way that will evaporate, that will make a permanent change in my life. Touch me in a way that will make me to worship you, to trust you, to believe you, to stand before you, to pray to you, both in spirit and in truth, continuously. Lord, I have come to be there are things only you can do. There are things only you will do. There are things only you can do. Lord, tonight may I experience that which only you can do, both in my life and the life of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. And not just me, as many you have called, as many you have proposed in your mind to bless, as many you have called, as many you have proposed to bless tonight. Lord, draw us all to yourself and be a blessing to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Draw us to yourself and be a blessing to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Draw us to yourself and be a blessing to us in Jesus' name. The Bible says no one will come to you except the Father draw him. Draw us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Jacob never knew you until you showed to him angel descending and angel ascending. And at the peak of later, the Almighty himself sitting upon the throne of heaven. And he said, wow, that I have been unknown to me I'm at the very gate of heaven. How we have seen the gate of heaven if we not open his eyes to see it? How we have known that it's at the very gate of heaven if we have not opened his eyes to behold it? And then he said, this is better, the house of God. Lord, if we don't open my eyes, how will I see? If we don't open my ear, how will I hear? If we don't open my eyes to see, my understanding to know, how will my understanding be enlightened? I've come to be touch of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please therefore touch me. Therefore, touch me. My heart desire you. Something in me really desire you. Something in me really wants you, Lord. Therefore, Lord, I beg of you, please touch me. Open my eyes, the more to see you. Open my understanding, the more to see you. Open my ear, remove the wool from my hearing, and let me hear you correctly, clearly, again in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help me tonight. Open my ear to hear. Open my understanding to know. Open my eye to see in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that you help. They stay helped unless you help me. Who else will have done it? Who else will help me? Lord, I have come, Lord, that my eyes may be open in the mighty name of Jesus. That I no longer sleep the sleep of death, that I now I sleep and see life and see grace. Jacob was not sleeping like other men. He slept and he saw you. He slept and he experienced you. And his life was never the same again. Tonight I've woken up to be seen, to see you, to experience you, to know you, that when I sleep again, Put my head on my on my pillow. You might reveal yourself to me more in the mighty name of Jesus. I have come to be touch of you. I have come to be visited of you. Do something new, something great, something marvelous, something beautiful, something that cannot be hidden. Do it in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be said of me that indeed I have been with the Lord. Let it be said of me that indeed I have been with the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I have come to be blessed of you. Bless me indeed in Jesus' mighty name. After this meeting, after this whole day, I cannot be like those are sleeping. Those are, many are sleeping in their houses. Many are sleeping, even dozing around, or dozing in their sleeping now. But I've denied myself that opportunity to come to your presence. I cannot afford to be the same like others. I didn't make it to this hour. Lord, please visit me. Do something different in my life. Start with me, start with the children in the mighty name of Jesus. Every child now means open their ear to hear. 
things that I don't, I don't can I even see, things that I don't and I don't and I don't even see, things that I don't and I cannot even hear, like some of old, he was just about 12 years old, you called him, he heard your voice, you called him, he heard your voice, you ministered to him, and he ran to the man of God, and I don't say, if you hear it again, just say, speak down for your servant, listen, Lord, speak to them. As we listen, the mighty name of Jesus for every of our children, speak to their hearing in the mighty name of Jesus for every of our children, like this, like in Samuel, speak to their hearing in Jesus' name. And for us adults, we have come to be blessed of you in Jesus' mighty name. Do it again. You have done it before. Do it again in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so that is a thank you because we are faithful. Hallelujah to you alone in the mighty name of Jesus. We lift up our everything unto you. We say thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness, for your lovingness, for your kindness, for your mercy. Thank you for covenant of ways. Thank you because you renew your word and the veracity and the, uh, the power of your word in our heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are so grateful. We are so very, very grateful. Thank you for making your word powerful in our heart. Thank you for making your word to see the power, the strength of your word in our heart. So much that you told us that each time we speak back your word to us, you will listen to us. Thank you for the covenant of words. Thank you for healing, for increase in strength, for increase in grace, for increase in life abundance. Thank you for putting a permanent end, a permanent stop to every cycle of inconveniences, every cycle of sicknesses, every cycle of evil. You put a permanent stop to them. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the sure mercies of David, for the sure mercy in the blood of Jesus Christ. You told us yesterday that how we perfect God move, walk, and fellowship than in perfect man. If not that we first and foremost cover him with his blood. And each time we behold him, each time we look at him, look at his side. Each time we try to see who is that in fellowship with me, he will not see the man, he will see the envelope of the blood of Jesus Christ that surrounding him. And by the blood, he will rejoice over him. Like a father rejoices over the son that is, that is delighted in. And by the blood, he will rejoice over her. Like a father delighted in the, the daughter that whose heart delight in. And you will delight in us, you will fellowship with us, you will bless us. Even our God shall bless us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, because in it all, not this, our heart rejoices. Our heart rejoices. Our heart rejoices. We rejoice in the fact that we have hope in you, that you are God, and that in you, our covenant are secure. In you, all the promises are yea and amen. Thank you, Father. We say amen. Hallelujah to you alone. Be exalted. Be glorified, be honored in the mighty name of Jesus. And here we come again, Father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel. Here we come again, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He call him Abba Father, my God, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we here today, tonight. Please bless us. Remember us. Visit us in the mighty name of Jesus. I dare to be have done again, just this again today, that we make you to say, no, I'm not coming tonight. Please have mercy. I just beg of you, please have mercy. Remember the blood that was shed on Calvary. Have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. And in fellowship tonight, please fellowship with us. In blessing tonight, please bless us. In helping tonight, please help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Secure us once again in the covenant of sort in the mighty name of Jesus. Secure our children once again in the covenant of salt in the mighty name of Jesus. You are a promise keeping God, a covenant God. There is no God like you that keep covenant. The Bible says you keep covenant and your promises and your faithfulness and your blessing from generation to generation, even to the thousand generations, those that put their trust in you. And you say, as men that put their trust in you, they can never be put to shame on the premises you have come. For two immutable things, this is, it is possible for God to lie. We know you can never lie. Let all men be liars. Let God alone be true. And that's how you know you cannot lie. 
and because we know you cannot lie, we have come again this hour to be blessed of you, to be touched of you, to be to make your word true in our life again, that the victory you have received will be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover everyone listening to the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover everyone in this fellowship now with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I declare your victories are permanent in Jesus' name. I say your victory are permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Every victory the Lord has given you in your head, in increase in your finance, in increase in your work with him, in increase in your parenting, in increase in being a married fellow, in increase in growth and in trying to trust God and believing him for promises, increase in hope, increase in love, increase in grace. I declare tonight what we have received this for day shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Every circle that the Lord has broken, stay broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that Lord has put at bay, they stay where God has put them in Jesus' mighty name. And you will shine, and you will rejoice, and you will laugh, and your joy shall be permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Tonight again, take us to a better ground in you. Give us a better understanding of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Open our eyes to better promises that we have in you in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Christ Jesus are better promises because his blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Lord, tonight we come in that name, in the name of Jesus Christ, entering to better promises in you. Give us the heart to believe. Give us the heart to trust. Give us the heart to, to have faith. What a wonderful thing it is to blood to trust you. What a marvelous thing it is to put our confidence in you. What a beautiful thing it is to trust your word. Lord, please help us. I know and we know that you cannot do anything outside your own ways. You will not do anything. You will do what you say. And you only say what you can do. That which you have said in the past, in the present, and that which you yet said to our life. Lord, give us the grace to stay believing, stay trusting, stay hoping, stay loving you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare tonight the covenant of salt be effective, be active now in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Just as the point of words are ever effective in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. You say heaven and earth will pass away, but a little of your word will not pass without fear. As rain come to the earth and cause the earth to grow, to bring forth its fruit before returning back to heaven. Lord, the same way, let your word come to mind, find fulfillment in our life and families. In Jesus' mighty name. And if we fulfill that which you have spoken then to our life for, and you alone have been glorified. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for every member of this group. Thank you for Friday visit to the home we are going next week. Thank God you have gone ahead to bless those children and to bless every gift we will take down to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the 14th of August program as well. We know as many families have called to that meeting too are going to be blessed and are blessed already in Jesus' name. And every home, every family that have prayed, that facilitates this program in one form or the other, either in, in prayer or in supporting, in advice, in idea, or in supporting financially with their tithe and offering, in any form they have supported. Lord God of heaven, I beg of you, please. In remembering, you remember them. In shading, you will shade them. In faithfulness, you stay faithful to them. In loving, you will yet love them. In defending, you will yet defend your own. In the mighty name of Jesus. They shall never invest in you in vain. Nobody invests into God and do it in vain. Lord, please prove it again in Jesus' name. You have done in the past. You will do it again and again. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. And most important, I want to pray for our aged one, our grandparents in this ministry. Please bless them. They be wonderful people to us. They be shining example to us. They lead where we follow. Lord, please, they will, they will never fail you and your ministry and your work in their hands in the mighty name of Jesus. As you look forward to them more and more, they will always be there as shining example, healthy and strong to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the time you will take them to glory, they will not miss their place in you in Jesus' name. And the right time to take over from them, how to we leave those behind us and we will not fail them in the mighty name of Jesus. And that sequence will stay abide, we stay faithful in all our life and families. Thank you, Daddy. You are wonderful to be praised, glad in our hearts, and cause us joy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming once again. God himself increase your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Our aged men and women, God bless you. Our young married men and women, God bless you. Then our younger one that are also trusting God for marriages, God bless you. And our children too, trusting God for growth, for increase in every area of their life. And they are part of this program. And even those are not part of this program, all of you, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Tonight, by God's grace, we are going to be renewing the covenant of salt and perpetuity of covenant. The covenant of salt and perpetuity of God's promises. You know, God is never only interested in us. He's always interested in those that are after us away as our children. So the covenant of salt and perpetuity of God's promises, perpetuity of God covenant. This is we saw the short mercy of David and uh, the shortness of that mercy that comes only through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are able to establish that mercy only comes through the blood. The Father God cannot work with a broken and sin redeemed man, and yet he desires to work with man, and he must, he must work with, and if he must work with man, he must cover him, he must shield him. He must make him to be under the canopy of his grace by covering his blood because only life can replace life. And that life is in the blood. Is in the blood. And therefore, the blood of Jesus Christ speak for us than what other blood can say. And by those who that blood, each time God sees that blood in us and covering us, still us with the spirit of grace, he remember us in our frailty and he have mercy on us on a perpetual basis. So there is almost with the same with covenant of sorts, but yet there's a wide difference in the perpetuity of mercy. If God had mercy upon me, for example, it can affect my wife, it can affect my sibling. Many of us have been kept because of somebody. The Bible says God kept, God remembered Lot, and God kept Lot and his family because of Abraham. Lot who had perished with them in the in the Sodom. God was determined to wipe everything away. But because of what Abraham and the prayer of Abraham, God remember Lot. And it was established that because of the Lot, God kept his entire family. So Lot God kept his entire family. And Abraham said that was the reason for keeping the family, for Lot, keeping Lot. And Lot, God kept his family. Abraham himself was kept because of the election of grace, because of the covenant he had with God. So there's always a reason God keeping us alive. If that somebody is praying for us somewhere, or of the children, there must be a reason why it's given. But that is mercy. So the mercy I receive, we rob of my children, rob of my sibling, rob on everybody around me, and uh, like that. And it is called the mercy, the covenant of mercy. That's how God had with us. And it is perpetual, it is eternal, because it said that we also had the same thing on our children, if we abide faithful with him. That is uh, the sort part of it. It's perpetual. It lasts forever. But the covenant of mercy, as one person receives, can go around and cover. For one person's sake, God can keep a whole city. That's the covenant of mercy. For one person's sake, God can keep a whole nation. And that's the covenant of mercy. And that's why God, if only Daniel was praying, and God remembered entire Israel and kept them and returned them back to, to the promised land. So the, from, from the promise time from where we are in slaves, in slavery. So that's covenant of a mercy. But when it comes to the covenant of sort, it does not go beyond the person involved and his or her children. It's strictly for the person involved and his or her children. As a matter of fact, if I have a covenant of sort, if I, if I have a covenant of sort, it may not rub on my wife. If my wife has a covenant of sort, which both have, it may not rub on me. But for sure, it will rub on our children. If you have it, it will rub on our children. I'm having it, rub on our children. But that she's having it, on the reason why I'm having it. That's the difference between the two. Covenant of mercy, I have it. It can rub on my wife, on my family, on everybody around me, even my community where I live. That mercy can rub on everybody. But covenant of sort is strictly between me and my children. That's why you don't play with it as a group. Because that's one of the most important things we hold dearly as a group. It ought to be the last thing we treat in this, under this covenant, in this month. 
But because of the holiday we are going to have next month, uh, next week and over a week, and I may not have the opportunity to say it again, I'm putting it this night so that you cannot, we can use as a last thing. If God help us, we don't do it again this month, at least we know we have done the one of the most important covenant of words and covenant of, uh, of sorts. So once you have this, it's strictly for you and your children. Your spouse may not benefit from it if it's not born again and doesn't trust God. You might even be born again, but you don't trust God for this. Many people are born again. They are serving God. And they, not only Abraham knew God in his days, you must know that fact. There are people also SUA that God speaks to. We are even told that Job was living in the days of Abraham. So therefore, there are people there. But God gave Abraham a covenant of perpetuity that not only with him, but with his seed, with his children forever. So the kind of sort is not just for me and for my wife. It's for me and strictly for me and my children. If I don't claim it, I may be blessed of God, but the blessing may not transfer to my children. If my wife don't claim it, she may be blessed of God, enjoy God, but that blessing may not transfer to the children. If you want the mercy of God, the blessing of God, the faithfulness of God, the truth of God, the love of God in your life to rub naturally, automatically on your children, then begin to enter the covenant of uh, of salt. Because salt preserves. Salt never allow decay. It means the promise of God in my life will never decay. It never run out because I'm no longer alive. For example, now if I, God help me, I grow old and I go. Many people die with God's promises in their life. Many people die with God, God's grace upon their life. But if I enter the covenant of salt, it cannot die with me. My children will automatically pick it. Even while I'm alive, it's rubbing on them. And while I'm gone, it's permanently rubbing on them. And if they too believe it, they trust God for it, it's rubbed back on their own children. And it goes like that. So it's a covenant between you and strictly between your your you and your children, not with your spouse, not with your sibling, not with your loved one, not with your community. It's strictly between you and your children. That's the difference between the sure mercy, the perpetual mercy of God on you, and this perpetual covenant of God in it. This is called the covenant of sorts. I want to believe you understand the difference between the two now. If God has mercy on you, that mercy can be rubbed, can rub on your spouse, on your children, on your relatives, on your community, even on the nation. God can be keeping the old Nigeria now. Just because of one person, because person has received mercy from God. But covenant of salt is strictly between you and God and your children to inherit from them. And that takes us to Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. So our test tonight, covenant of salt and perpetuity of God's covenant or perpetuity of God's promises. And that's why we believe any scripture in the Bible. Whatever you believe in the Bible, Whatever blessing you receive from God is not just for you. It's automatically robbing your uh, children as well by this covenant. So in verse 22 of uh, Proverbs 13, verse 22, Proverbs 13, it says, A good man or a good woman will leave an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is in all for the just. A good man, a good woman will lay all, will reserve, will leave behind inheritance. For your children, and not only inheritance in money which is good, not only inheritance in houses if it's good, not only inheritance in the physical thing of this world which are very beautiful, but most importantly, a lasting legacy, eternal legacy, the legacy of spiritual things that never fail, legacy of um, covenant of of wealth, legacy of covenant of uh, increase. Legacy of covenant of life and peace. Legacy of the covenant of mercy, sure mercies of David. If all these covenants are faithfully working in my life, automatically by covenant of sort, they should also work in the life of my children. Covenant of healing and uh, good health. Covenant of increase. The gift of faith. If I have faith and I can believe God for things, I'm patient with God, God bless me. That same gift automatically rob for my children. Covenant of life and of love and giving. Covenant of love and giving. Covenant of insight into God's word, righteousness into God in, with God. All these covenants are things that children are, 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 are expected to inherit from us. Covenant of uh, sound family values are things that 
we should pass to our children. And they are covered not on soul because soul preserves. In Leviticus 2, verse 13, the Bible says, With all your offering, salt must be inclusive. In the Old Testament, in the, in the temple at Jerusalem, before the temple even came at Tabernacle, the Lord said, Every offering, every offering, salt must be included. In all offering, must be sorted. It's a must. Every offering must be sorted. Why? Because God wants to make preservation that the offering may come to him as it was right from the time the person is bringing it. Salt heal and salt have a value that cannot be taken away. Salt is different from any other thing. When you taste salt, you know you have salt. And that's why Jesus was saying in Mark chapter 9, verse 50, he said, do not lose your saltiness. Never for anything lose your saltiness. Because once it's lost, it is really got it back again. Don't lose your saltiness to whatever, to anything, to anybody. Because it's very, very important. So therefore, the kind of salt is very, very important between you and your God. Every offering must be sorted. And uh, in number chapter 18, verse 19. Number 18, verse 19. Let's see what God told the, the, the original priest there, how this covenant came about. Number 18, verse 19. Number 18, verse 19. He said, All the heap offerings for the holy things which the children of Israel offer unto the Lord have I given thee and thy sons. It is specifically written, I've given this all to you and to your sons and to your daughters. Not only to your son, because by the time you read from a, a proverb that say a good father lives in heaven in heaven for his children. It's not only the father inheritance for his children. Therefore, your he has given to you and the son for your and for you to your son and to your daughters with you by a statue forever. It's a statue, it's a rule, it's a perpetual rule, it's a covenant of sort forever before the law. For your family forever in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a covenant of salt between God and you and your sons, daughters with you forever. Amen. So the covenant of salt, the difference between it and other covenant is that other covenant might rub other people around you. But this one is strictly between you and God, and it is between. Fully blessed by this uh, covenant. So, covenant of sort extend between you and God and to the children forever in a perpetual promise, in a perpetual generation. And I pray the Lord Himself we make it so in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. All the blessing of these four days and the days that are gone behind and this and this that are coming in the front in the mighty name of Jesus, that all this blessing will not end with us. This blessing will not die with us. They will perpetual in the life of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. That our children will look back, look in the mighty name of Jesus. That our children will look back, they will look at our, their life, look at their, 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 how God is helping them, and they will say, God. and be honored in Jesus' name. In yes. Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. When the children will look back, they shall have to say for sure that God has been good to me. God has blessed me because he has covenanted with my mom.
with my dad, the children should be able to look back at some point in their life and say, that's what I was saying, Proverbs say, the children, they look at their parents at some point and they bless them. They bless them because they will look back and know that God has been good to them because it was first and foremost good to their parents. And because of that, therefore, they are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. So that they are blessed. So therefore, our children will look around day and say, God has been good to me because first and foremost is good to my parents. Can you just begin to say, Father, I thank you for these promises in the mighty name of Jesus. I know if you bless me, you bless my children with me. In Jesus' name, you didn't call Abraham alone. You say you call him with his seed with him. You say you will bless him and his children with him. The same way I know you didn't call me alone. And then you will bless me and my children with me. In the mighty name of Jesus, be exalted, be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, once again, I renew the covenant of salt over me and my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I renew the covenant of salt over me and my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Every of your blessing upon me shall be perpetual and shall rub on my children forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We have enjoyed mercy. We have enjoyed grace. We have enjoyed the benefit of the covenant of ways. We have enjoyed increase. We have enjoyed serving God faithfully and truth truthfully. Lord, in no area you have blessed me. It shall rub on my children as well in the mighty name of Jesus. To be perpetual forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray for the children of yourself that I enter once again, afresh again, into the covenant of sorts for the sake of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I enter once again into the covenant of sorts for the sake of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I enter once again, Father, into the covenant of sorts for the sake of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's open our eyes to something very important. It means, as I said, it means our serving God is not just because of ourselves, our believing, our trusting, our hoping in God and putting our faith in Him. It's not just because we want to receive, but because we have in mind that whatever we receive, our children will receive from us. You can only give to the children an inheritance that you have. For example, I didn't have a house in Lagos. And therefore, it's very difficult for me to say, oh, I want to inherit, I want my children to say, I'm bequeathing a house to them in Lekki, phase one, when I don't have a property there. I cannot say, I don't have an investment in the UK, for example, maybe I didn't have a company, I invested to in the UK. And I cannot say my children, no, I'm, I'm at, the, at the time, I'm not say, go on, come on, I have a company, I've invested to social amount in the UK, now I'm bequeathing that to you as an inheritance. You can only give what you have. It simply means the quantity of salt that you have, the level of that salt in your life is what we rub on your children. It's like that. The level of that salt that is in your life, the level of that believing or that trusting you have had in God is the same God will work on that will work in your life because it's only between you and God. And that's why you cannot play with our work with God. The level of your work with God is the level of the covenant of salt that we drop on your children. That's why it's important. Or else, the children too will be going through so many things and to find their own path in life by themselves afresh again, instead of a, a good father, a good mother to have cut the path for them and for them to have walked in the path like Abraham did for Isaac and for Jacob and all that that come behind them. The level of the grace of the salt that was in the life of Abraham Rub on his generation forever. The level of mercy that David received, rub on his children till today. The level of mercy you receive, my dear, my dear sister, my dear brother, is a level of the same that we rub on your children. And that's why you cannot afford to play with these things. Say, Brother, in the mighty name of Jesus, increase me in grace. Increase me in grace. Increase your grace upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Increase me in the love for you, in trusting you, in believing you. Increase me in knowledge of your words. Increase me in understanding. Increase me in things of God that the same my rub on my children in a perpetual blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. I can only give what I have. Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to say a good father, a good mother, we be good and inheritance for the children. 
Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, put enough in me. Put enough inside of me. Put enough in me to be able to transfer the sin to the children in the mighty name of Jesus. My children are blessed after me. Say to yourself, my children are blessed after me in the mighty name of Jesus, in the manner of which God has blessed me. Even far beyond that, my children are blessed after me in the mighty name of Jesus, in the manner I've worked with God, in the manner I've trust God, in the manner I believe in God, I believe God, my children shall walk with me thereafter in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And that's why it's important for us to believe all these promises, to believe all these covenants, and to walk them. Now we said in the past, they don't only believe. You sing about it, you talk about it, you live it, you let it and your death in your life. The children will see it and it will naturally rub on them. What you have is what that will rub on your children. It's natural. You cannot be black and have white children. It really happens. You cannot be tall and have draft of children. It really happen. It's what is in you. You will be key to the children. And the same spiritual thing. If you are giant in the spirit, it is expected by quite a sort to have giant as children in the spirit. If you are draft in the spirit, it's natural to have draft as well as children. Unless those children cut their own path themselves, don't let the children go through the same struggle you went through in life. Cut a good path in them for them by covenant of sorts. Say once again, the mighty name of Jesus, I will leave inheritance for my children in the mighty name of Jesus, godly inheritance. Faithful inheritance, inheritance of faith, inheritance of patience, inheritance of love, inheritance of the covenant of love, of words, inheritance of increase, inheritance of hate in the mighty name of Jesus. I will leave good inheritance for my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I pray, I will leave godly inheritance for my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I will leave good and godly inheritance. For my children, in the mighty name of Jesus, as a father, I will live good in my children. As a mother, I will live good in of my children. In my own lifetime, I will see grace working in the life of my children. Because grace has worked in my life, in my own very eyes, I will see grace working in the life of my children. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you fight a lot, there's possibility your children will fight a lot. If you argue a lot, that possibility your children will argue a lot. If you quarrel a lot, that possibility your children will quarrel a lot. If you love a lot, that possibility your children will love a lot. It's a covenant of sort that transfer between you and your children. And there's an evil one too that can even transfer. But we are transferring the good one by God's grace. So in the mighty name of Jesus, say again, the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God, the grace of God for me, will be so mighty that my children will inherit the same and more in the mighty name of Jesus. My children will not be empty of spirituality. I think my children will not be empty of spirituality. Say to yourself, my children, make them, mention them by their name, shall not be empty of spirituality in the mighty name of Jesus. All that God has blessed me with will rub in the life of my children in Jesus' name. We have been sickly. My children will not be sickly. We have failed. My children will not be will not fail. We have stayed unfaithful. My children will not be unfaithful as well. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will only inherit good thing, godly thing, faithful thing in me and in, uh, from me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible says the, the daughter will look up to the mother, a maid will look up to the mistress, and a, a servant to the master and a son look forward to the, to the father. And he say, if I'm your father, then you should look up to me. So in the same manner, the children are looking up to you. The covenant of salt is strictly between me and my children. It cannot even rub on the, on, on the group. It's between me, strictly for me and my children, either by faith or by spirit. It's only if I claim it through the blood of Jesus Christ and by spirit of grace that I rub it on the children that are under my grace. But strictly speaking, it's between you, a mother or a father, and your biological children. That's why it is important you take it serious. And they can only take from you what you have out of the abundance of that which you have. Your children can only take from you out of the abundance of that which you have. 
Therefore, we will say the mighty name of Jesus. My children shall inherit godly promises, good grace from me in the mighty name of Jesus. As I have believed in the covenant of words, my children have been blessed by it in Jesus' mighty name. As I have believed in covenant of mercy, the sure mercy of David, my children as well shall be blessed by it in Jesus' name. As I believe in covenant of life and peace, my children will live their life in peace and they will live their life to the full, long and full in the mighty name of Jesus. As I believe in covenant of healing and covenant of health, my children too are so blessed in healing and in health in the mighty name of Jesus. We are my health has paid the past. My children, my grandchildren will not suffer the same challenge. <coughs> this means in the mighty name of Jesus. But rather they shall be blessed, they shall be increased in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you have experienced increase in your spirit, in your work to God, and God has even blessed the work of your hand, your finance has been increased, the same shall go to them. And that's why as a person, I hate death. Because this law is spiritual, I hate death with passion. As a family, we make the rule to use and to buy and to deal with what we have. We hardly, we rarely, we don't even do it, not even hardly. We don't buy anything on credit. Yes, we take loan, but we only use loan as it is important. And we don't just take loan for the sake of loan. We take loan from A, take loan from B, take no, 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 no. We don't use loan to service loan. We are strictly use loan for capital things. Excuse me, please. Because if care is not taken, if you live your life in debt, <clears throat> the Bible says, oh, no, man. If you live your life in debt, there's a possibility of children to be living their life in debt. It's a spiritual law that naturally will rub on them. And if you live your life in love, say, oh, no, man, but love. If you live your life in love, in faith, in godliness, in increase, daily increase, monthly increase, spiritual increase, physical increase, abundance, the possibility is there. Your children too will be to rub on them, and the same thing will happen to them. Because it's a covenant of sorts, a transfer between you and your children naturally once you are in it. Say, Father, the mighty name of Jesus, my children will not inherit bad things from me. They will not inherit debt. They will not inherit shame. They will not inherit poverty. They will not inherit hateness from hatred to God and godly thing. They will not inherit the spiritual listener from me in the mighty name of Jesus. But I shall leave only good inheritance, godly inheritance for my children in the mighty name of Jesus. They will increase on every side because you have increased me on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. I say by covenant of sorts, my children shall increase on no side and they shall be comforted because I've increased on one side and God has added rest and peace and comfort to me in the mighty name of Jesus. My children shall increase in faith because I've been growing in faith in Jesus' name. Where I have been weak in faith, they shall be stronger and better than me because I'm increasing daily as well in the mighty name of Jesus. My children will increase in patience, they will increase in love because by God's grace, I'm increasing in patience and in love to my spouse, the same way God shall make my children to increase in patience and in love in the mighty name of Jesus. As I give, my children will learn giving from me and they will be blessed by giving in the mighty name of Jesus. As I walk with God, do my best to please him, to serve him, my children too will, will walk with God. They shall find it more easier serving God than the mighty name of Jesus. For my children, for me to my children, they shall have sound godly family value in the mighty name of Jesus. All the blessings I have received, I pray, I pray for, I believe, I pray for yourself and talking to God by yourself that all the blessings I have received, all the miracles I have received, all the goodness of God I have received, all the mercy and, and, and greatness from God I have received, my children too shall receive double food in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. It is in mind of God that our children will inherit the of sort from us and not only inherit the same, but they will inherit it in double fold. It's a failure of a parent to be blessed and not have the same in children. Sometimes people say they don't understand the spiritual thing. Of little somebody was talking and was just busy, not just busy with just something that, that doesn't concern them. <coughs> it's me. He was talking about a particular father, father and the Lord, and was saying oh, the, the, he make his, his son to be the pastor of his equator church. And the son is doing well, and he was 
quarreling himself, not the man, that how did the son get to that position? That is he the only pastor in the church? How will he make him to be the pastor of his church or pastor of his equator church? Who else will you have put there if the man is if man is worthy? The question is that is he worthy to be there or just an office? Is the man worthy of the office? The man has received blessing. And by nature, by transfer, by covenant of sort, his son ought to receive double of, of the blessings. That's how it works. If your son does not receive double of the blessing of God upon you, it's a failure on his, in itself. So therefore, if you have been blessed of God, it is expected that your children shall receive double portion of it. David walked with God. And God bless him. And Solomon had double, even more than double of the grace or the blessing of God upon David. David fought war all his life. But Solomon enjoyed peace all his life. But Solomon was a perpetual failure. or a, Let me not say a perpetual failure, but a particular failure that he didn't transfer the same to his own son after him. That should not be like us. Our children should receive double portion of the grace of God upon us. That's so why you say the mighty name of Jesus. All the blessings I've received from you, my children after me, my sons, my daughter, shall receive double portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Double portion of grace, double portion of anointing, double portion of mercy, double portion of health and healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Double portion of mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. My children shall receive double portion of increase in their life. Mention them by their name, but by beg of people can. Double portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Double portion of blessing of God upon my children by covenant of source in the mighty name of Jesus. I am blessed. My children are blessed. Automatically, they are blessed and their blessing doubled in the mighty name of Jesus. I've increased by God's grace in this year in my work with God. My children, too, every new year, every new birthday, they shall increase in their work with God. Double in the mighty name of Jesus. Every cycle of uh, of of death, every cycle of uh, sickness, every cycle of pain, every cycle of concern and worry that God has broken my life. They are dead in my life. They are double sh- double dead, double sh- sure that they are dead. Left my children as well in the mighty name of Jesus. I have been blessed. They are to be blessed, and they shall be blessed in a double portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I and all that God has given me, they are blessed forever in the mighty name of Jesus. By covenant of sorts, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please, I beg of you, everything you do in praying, in service to God, in giving to God, in loving God, in trusting God, in hoping in God, in putting your confidence in God, do it with the highs of the covenant of sorts. When you are doubting God and you are becoming unfaithful and faithless, faithlessness is taking over, always remember there is a covenant or sort I'm ought to, I ought to uphold as much as God give me the grace. And therefore, I cannot afford to fail those coming behind me. If our parents fail us, we can't afford to fail our children. Many of us are struggling today and we are praying. Some prayer we are praying today that we ought not to have been prayed. If our parents have done what we are doing now, some prayer we are praying now that children will never pray because they go ahead, they have gone ahead of us already. They have, we have said too many be on their behalf. That I'm very sure in this ministry, our children are blessed because we have said too many bees, many spiritual bees. We have said to them, Papa. Why? Because that's what we call the covenant of sorts. And that's how it's supposed to be. The struggling, the trouble, the pains, the marriage. Marital disharmony, the, the, the joyless marriage that you are passing through now ought not to be so if our parents have won their own war. And therefore, on our own, we must win our own. We must stay where God has put us and win our battle so that our children do not have to fight battle. We are fighting now. That's what we mean by covenant of sorts. God bless Elijah so much. And by the time it got to Elisha time, is anything about him was a miracle. Because he received double portion. But as Elisha, we had your own end, he ended the grave with him. He was never able to transfer the same to other. So this thing has no respect to anointing. You might be a GU of a church, you might be a general of a self church, and yet your children may not have this opportunity because you don't take it serious. It has no respect to anointing. 
Even Samuel, as mighty as he was, the Bible says the word of Samuel never fall to the ground. He speak it before the thing reached the ground. The saliva from his mouth, before the thing reached the ground, it is done. That's what the Bible puts it. The Bible says that the word of Samuel never fall to the ground. Anything that man says, immediately he says it before the saliva touched ground, it is done. And yet, ask me, what happened to his children? He was never able to transfer to them. This he has no respect to anointing. It's respect of spiritual rules. You believe it, you claim it, it is done for your children. And that's why you cannot afford to play with it. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I will leave godly inheritance for my children in the mighty name of Jesus when I am alive. And as I am alive, and when I will get old and go, my children will not be a failure in my own very eye. In the mighty name of Jesus, yeah, we, the cause of salt we rub on them, we walk with them, we walk on them. In the mighty name of Jesus, all the blessing, all the joy I've received, all the work my God with God, my work with God shall rub positively on my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, my children will have life in abundance, they shall have peace in abundance, they shall be alive and well. My children will not be ridden with sicknesses, they shall be alive and well. In the mighty name of Jesus, because God has blessed me this far, they too must be blessed double, even more in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, God has increased me on every side, He has comforted me on every side, He has been my rest and my hope. The same way, in a double fashion, it shall comfort my children on every side, it will increase them on every side, it will lock them by all sides on no way, no way. In the mighty name of Jesus, they shall not run to trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus. I have faith in God. I believe God. My children will have faith in Him. They will believe Him much more than I have done in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be, and so will it be in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And I've said it in the beginning that this covenant is strictly between you and your children. It does not rub on your spouse. But mercy can rub on your spouse. Even those that don't know you, your near neighbor, your, your workers, the mercy of God upon you can rub on them. Even your enemy, the mercy of God upon you can rub on them. But the corner of salt is strictly between you and God and your children. And that's why it's the only matter you open your mouth and say, as the last prayer for tonight, in Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, say it again. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I activate perpetually the covenant of salt upon me. And my children after me, and their children, children forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, I activate, I make a life, I activate, I bring a life, I activate, I bring a life in the name of Jesus. And by the power of His blood, the covenant of sorts that God upon me and that should drop on my children perpetually forever in my generation in Jesus' name. Why am I alive? I will see the result. And when I've gone old, I fulfill my part here and I am gone. My children shall continue to enjoy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Because at this hour, I renew it and I reactivate it upon me and upon them forever in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter if my, my spouse is, believe it or not. It doesn't matter if my spouse is doing it or not. It doesn't matter if my husband or my wife is believing this or not. But me, between me and God, I activate. I put a life. I put light into it. I put grace into it. I put mercy into it. I activate in the mighty name of Jesus the covenant of sorts, perpetual covenant of mercy on my children, perpetual covenant of increase on my children, perpetual, perpetual covenant of hate on my children, perpetual covenant of, of faith on my children, perpetual covenant of love, of joy, of giving on my children, perpetual covenant of righteousness on my children. Perpetual covenant of family value, godly family value on my children. I activate every great thing, every good thing, every blessing of God for me. I activate and double fold on my children. But perpetual covenant of sorts in the mighty name of Jesus. And all rich child God has blessed me with. None of them shall miss this. Either they are like with me now, or they will yet come through my loins, or by faith. None of them shall miss this in the mighty name of Jesus. And by faith, I declare this to be activated, to be open, to be alive in the life of every child in praying, praying, prayer group, beginning from the family here, to every child in praying, prayer group. I activate this covenant upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
it shall be perpetual, it shall be lasting, it shall be longer in Jesus' name. And I see it with the blood of Jesus Christ. No demon, no devil can cross it, can destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. So it is. And as I declare in your own mouth too for your children, so shall it be. So it is in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you have this covenant, you have nothing to fear. The child is sick. If you get healed, don't be afraid. Oh, my child has gone out, has traveled. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. Nothing will happen to her. Nothing will happen to him. He'll be fine. Why? Because there's a covenant trailing him, following him, following her. You have nothing to be worried about. If you are in this covenant, you have no worry upon any of your children because they are perpetually watched over. Under this covenant, every child is perpetually watched over because of his or her parents. It cannot be robbed. It cannot be rubbish. It's a perpetual covenant in Christ Jesus. And all of our children from now and forth are receive it. They will enjoy it perpetually forever. And they in turn will rub the same on their children forever and ever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Let's thank once again. Say, blessed be your name, Father. Thank for your faithfulness. Thank for stabilizing the network. We know the devil doesn't want us to do this. As a matter of fact, it's one of the most, if not the most important covenant we are carrying outside the country of West. Thank you, God. It is your way to establish this in the life of every of our sons and daughters in praying prayer and prayer group. And as fathers and mothers, as we pray about this, as we have prayed, as we pray again, Father, I pray, you said your word, your spirit, you will watch over your ways. You said, write upon the table for my spirit to watch over it and it shall come to pass in their time. We have written your words upon the table of our heart. And we have seen them in the blood of Jesus Christ. That Lord tonight, that you will activate, you will increase, you will put a life, a life anew. The covenant of sorts in every of our lives as robbing and robbing on our children now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare for every child in praying, 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 whose mother is hearing me now that the child is already in his or her hand growing or have grown to even have a family. Or the child you are believing and trusting God for that is in the womb growing. Or those are coming that are not trusting God and will activate the womb to bring forth a life. And the mother, by faith, like Sarah, is trusting you and believing you and believing and calling those things that are not as though they were. Father, on their behalf, all of them we activate. And we declare that the covenant of sort be perpetual, we be faithful, we be sure in all our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we are blessed, our children are blessed. Because we have loved us, our children are perpetually loved by you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I've opened our eyes to this truth, the eyes of our children shall never be blind in Jesus' name. Because we have opened our ear into this truth, the hearing of our children shall never be deaf in the mighty name of Jesus. And because we have opened our understanding to this truth, the understanding of our children too shall never be blurred in the mighty name of Jesus. In blessing, they shall be blessed, and they shall be greater in blessing than us in Jesus' name. They will do wonder. We are afraid. They will never fail again. All the bees we are paid on their behalf in spiritual things, in health, in healing, in paying our debt on their behalf, in doing all that we have done for life and for godliness, for peace, for rest, for comfort. All the bees we have paid on their life, no one of them will service those bees again in the mighty name of Jesus. Those bees are perpetually paid in the blood of Jesus Christ and they are sealed. In the blood of Jesus Christ, and they are preserved by covenant of salt because salt preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you believe this is for you and for your children, that's a better amen. Amen and amen. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. The same God has shown mercy upon you and that mercy in robbing your children. That same God, we activate the covenant of mercy perpetually as one covenant of sort in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. And every other blessing you have received thus far, you will live, Lord, you will live all in double fold.
So she has to inherit from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Not only when you are gone, but in your own very life, you will see the fruit and the reward of your own labor upon them in Jesus' name. And nothing shall rob you of your labor in Jesus' name. Every demon, every incantation, every divination, every power proposing or are trying or are trying or are doing it to rob you of the reward of your labor, your children. I curse them in Jesus' name. The labor of vigils, the labor of waiting on God, the labor of fasting, the labor of praying, the labor of believing, the labor of hoping in God, the labor of trusting, the labor of crying and weeping in your closet. All those labor you have labored on niche of your children. Every demon, any power. The Bible says, if it's an angel that come and declare anything contrary to this, it's cause. Any power, any human, any divination, anything that is standing or are stand or are already or that be standing to withstand or already withstanding or are holding on and say they will not pass and say this thing shall not fulfill the life of your children. I curse them, those powers in Jesus' name. Every of your reward in your own lifetime, you will see them coming to pass in Jesus' name. And when you are gone, they will not go with you. It will affect the life of your children. They will, they will grow whole, they will see you grow whole, and they will. Enjoy your, your beauty, your, your age with you, and you too, you will, you will leave them in heritage for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Which shall bless us and our children forever in perpetuity of covenant in Jesus' name. And no demon can deny this. Every demon, I say it again, any human being or any demon that will stand against all this prayer tonight, or that will stand in the past and they want to stand again, I curse them in Jesus' name, and they shall buy curse in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. Please rejoice in God. It is done forever in the mighty name of Jesus. This will carry us again for the next 65 days. If God wish, we we'll do it in between. If you wish, August again next year, we renew it again. And God has blessed us forever in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. I honor you for coming in Jesus' name. The thing is very end there, but the prayer continues throughout today. And God and our God shall bless us forever in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's sing our family song together if you have been blessed. I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of strong as David, wise as Solomon, joint here with Jesus, heaven home above. I'm so glad with this family. Family of God. And for my prayer team in particular, for prayer team, I thank you for praying for us. God bless you. Even though I don't contact you, I know you are praying for us. God will bless you continually in Jesus' name. And for the prayer team, I thank you. For the first time in our big event, the team song we are using now are from the prayer team. For the first time, the Lord allowed us to use their, their song. I mean, their, 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 what do you call it now? Their suggestion and inspiration for the big event. It is just from them. And God will keep inspiring you. God will keep blessing you. And God will keep using you for his kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. I want more or such from you. And God will keep inspiring you in Jesus' name. In the next one and the next one, the next one, keep suggesting. If it please the Lord, we use them. Otherwise, we use them some other way. So God bless you for this theme song. We are blessed by them in Jesus' name. And for the entire group, I say that God bless you and keep you. May God shine a face upon you and be gracious to you. May God lift all his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may God put his name in a covenant of sorts perpetually upon each and every of your children, beginning from you yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Nothing happens, nothing will happen that will deny of your children this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And because it's a year of grace, and God in his mercy has blessed us this far, and blessed our children as well, what do we say? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me in the name of Jesus. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. I confess. I swear I confess. Yes, Lord, I confess. Yes, Lord, I confess. It is well with me. Please, we are listening very, very close to the Jamido children home. Please talk to me. You need someone that can go on our behalf on that day. Otherwise, we find another way of getting through to them. 
God bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. Have a good sleep. The meeting is over. Mugbagbo, Benny Mugbagbo, Benny Mugbagbo, it is well with me.